Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Vultures World, and today we're here in Paris. And today we're going to talk about are some of the most common scams you'll see when you come and do your tour of Europe. And the thing is, some places have more scams than other scams. And so what I'm kind of give you is kind of an overview of some of the more popular scams you might see when you do come here. So whether you're here in France or you're in Germany or Lithuania, there's some things you want to keep an eye out for, okay? And probably the most common one that I hear about and I have my tourists and my fellow travelers tell me about is the, it comes in different varieties, the oops, I got mustard on you. Oh, bird pooped on you. Oh, there's something on your shoulder. And these are the, I'll distract them while you grab their bag. The usual thing is you have somebody, maybe a guy or a lady or whatever, and they'll actually bump into you, maybe get a little mustard on your shoulder, or maybe they'll be like a bird poop on you or something like that. Like, oh, excuse me, ma'am, you've got bird poop on your shoulder. Can, can I help you get it off? And they usually dress nicely. They're usually very friendly and stuff like that. And you put your bag down and they're helping you get stuff on and they're chatting with you for a couple minutes. It's like, okay, well, hey, you have a great day here in Barcelona. You have a great day here in Paris. And they wander off. And then when you look down, your bag's gone. I mean, this has happened to multiple people I know, including my parents when I told them to watch out for it. Because my mom's like, but he seems so nice and he was so sincere. These things do happen. So do pay attention for that. Because a lot of times what it is, is they're just distracting you from your bag and whew, they get it from you. So that's why when you're going to cafes, you're eating outside and stuff like that, never put your bag on the back of your, of your chair. Always keep it between your feet or underneath your table because otherwise people will take, take stuff or they could take stuff. Also, the same thing for your jackets and the coats. Don't put your wallet in the inside pocket of your coat or, or your phone or stuff like that because you put it back there, good chance it could disappear as well. And the thing is, these things don't happen all the time. I just want to make sure you're prepared because everything I'm talking about on here, I've seen people, I've seen it happen to people. I know people it's happened to and some of these have happened to us as well, okay? So do have a heads up for it. But that first one really is the, hey, you got something on your, your, your shirt, uh, let me help you, and boom, the other person gets your bag. Now, another kind of scam that I see out there that maybe they don't technically call it a scam, but it really is ripping you off, that is if you ever use an ATM or a restaurant and your currency is not the currency of the country you're shopping in, they ask you, do you want to take a conversion? So what they'll do is they'll offer you an exchange rate. So you'll guaranteed to know how much cash is going to come out of your account, whether it's in dollars or euros or, or, or crowns or whatever, or, or yen. And you're like, um, hmm, that sounds like a good idea Then I know how much I spent in US dollars. But the thing is when they do that, most of the time they're giving you a horrible exchange rate. Like you could be losing up to 10 to 20% of your money by taking that conversion. So never take the conversion from an ATM, never take a conversion from a restaurant. Tell them, no, no, just charge me in euros when I'm here in France, just charge me in foreigns when I'm in Hungary, because otherwise you could lose a big amount of money when you when you do do that, okay? So never take the conversion. And these aren't just at like, you know, private ATMs. These are national banks that do the same thing too, so do have a heads up. And another thing when it comes to money and exchanging money, another kind of scam thing that I see a lot is exchange houses that say zero commission. It works the same way as that ATM. They have zero commission, but they give you a horrible exchange rate. So make sure you're checking the exchange rate before you come to see which place gives you the best exchange rate versus just going up and say, oh, no commission, I'll go there because it could cost you a fair penny. And that's why usually we do when we take money out, we actually use our local bank debit card and we go out to bank ATMs when we travel and take money out that way. And we never take the conversion. And that gives us kind of a, a better deal overall on average that we found from our travels and exchanging money that way. Now, it wouldn't be right of me to talk about scams and not talk about pickpocketing. And pickpocketing happens anywhere and everywhere, even places you don't think it's gonna happen. If you go to the Vatican, they'll have signs saying, watch out for pickpockets. You're like, wait, people will, will rob you and pickpocket you in a church? Yes, it can happen. You always need to be paying attention to that, especially if you're at any major tourist sites or if you're getting on and off public transportation, especially on stops that are very popular, like get in Rome, if you're getting off the Colosseum, or if you're getting off like on the La Rambla in Barcelona, you're gonna have a lot more people there pickpocketing and stuff like that. So you have to take extra care. I know probably La Rambla and Barcelona is where most of our fans, if they've gotten pickpocketed, that's where it's happened. So you really need to pay attention. Keep that wallet in your front pocket. Maybe use a money belt or something like that. And always lock up your passports and use some of your cash at the safe in your hotel. So if you do get robbed, you're only out a little bit and you got more stuff back in the room 
and you're not trying to find a new passport. Now, some other things you might see is one, you'll see a lot here in Paris actually, is the petition scam. So a lady will come up to you wanting you to sign a petition. And if you sign it, she might ask you for some money to help help with this petition, or they might be casing you out to see if there could be somebody that maybe has some stuff you might want to try to hit up later or something like that. And just if anybody comes up for you to sign a petition, just say, no thanks. My petition, my signature doesn't matter in this country because I don't vote here. Have a heads up for that one. So the petition scam, you'll see that quite a bit. Another thing you might see is someone will find something valuable on the ground and say, oh, do you want this? I found this lady, did you drop this? It's so nice, you should give me money for it. And they kind of harass you that way. Look, you didn't drop any gold rings, you didn't drop any necklaces, just say no thanks and walk away, all right? Other scams you might see, and this is one I see a lot um, with our kids, is people will come up and want to tie something on you. Maybe it's a friendship bracelet or a love pen, or they just want to put a flower on you or some string on you. Look, it's a scam. They may say it's free, but it's not going to be free. They're going to want you to give them something, donate something back. Oh, but I put this on there. Oh, help me out. And they harass you and stuff like that. I know in Milan, my students, when I went there with students, were getting harassed all the time by people for those things. So do have a heads up, okay? And if you don't want to say no, no thanks, no. I mean, I've actually had to like physically pull my students and my children away from some of these people because they're trying to tie stuff on them. So you got to be a little forceful sometimes. Just no and just go away, okay? Because everyone will understand, no, go away, all right? So have a heads up for that. Now, another thing I kind of consider a scam here in Europe is the organized beggars. And you will see, if you're staying at the same place for a week or so, you'll see the same beggars on the same corner every single day. And they've kind of assigned themselves different corners and stuff like that. And the organized begging, look, if you're giving to the beggars, I mean, there's beggars that really need money, then there's the beggars that it's their job, and they might make more money than you or me, okay? So just realize that there's a lot of organized begging that does happen here, so do not give money out. And I know people will hate me for saying that but even the government say look don't do that we have all the social systems to help people and you start looking at it and seeing it and you go huh why is it that person's begging there every day with their baby or their little kid and the kid's always sleeping and and why is that kid at school i mean it's september and everyone's back in school now what's going on it really makes you question some stuff so do have a heads up that for that with the organized begging now some other scams i see there's the traditional kind of scams you might see restaurant or taxi scams. I mean, in general, these things have really come down. Like scams in Europe are way, way, way down. Pickpocketing's a bit up, but the scams are way down. Um, but I'd say like um, at restaurants, sometimes you might get charged extra thing on your bill. Um, they might have, you know, or got you the expensive whiskey instead of the cheap whiskey kind of stuff. So always ask for an itemized bill. They have to give it to you. It's the law, okay? So it was well, at least the law everywhere I've gone. They have to give you the itemized bill to show you what all you bought and so that you can see if anything's wrong that way check out for that. Um, another thing I see sometimes at restaurants, I saw this in Prague and Budapest a little bit more often, is they'll have a price on the menu, but it'll be for like 100 grams. And you're like, oh, I want a steak, but you want like a 400 gram steak, you want a big steak. And the thing is, you think steak, you order that price, but it comes out four times the price because it's 400 grams, not 100 grams. So anytime you see like a weight next to a food, make sure you ask, hey, how much is mine gonna be? How many, How much? what's my weight gonna be? So you don't have a surprise 100 euro bill sometimes, because that's what happened to me once when I was living in Portugal and I got fish and I was with some friends. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll get to fish. And they're like, oh, okay. And they brought the whole thing out and we had a big, huge bill, okay? So have a heads up for that. Now, another restaurant thing that's not really a scam is one I've seen in a few places. If you're coming from a country where they like to give you a lot of free stuff, like you know, free bread, free butter, free cheese, stuff like that. That doesn't always happen everywhere. So make sure if there's anything laying on the table for you, maybe it's some pretzels or some bread, you might wanna ask, do I have to pay for this or does it come with it? Because I know in Portugal, all those things kind of add up and tourists get really upset because they feel they got scammed having to get all the cheeses and breads and stuff like that, which you don't have to. Just say, no thanks, I don't need it and you don't have to pay for it, okay? So just have a heads up for that. Now, in terms of the taxis, I mean, the usual taxi kind of things, they might take you for a ride the long way around and stuff like that. But I really feel that the taxis in Europe have gotten a lot better because of the competition from the Ubers and the Lyfts and stuff like that. So you're gonna have a lot more uh, taxi services that will have apps for you to call, to, to log on to, phone numbers and stuff like that. So it's really made them a lot um, more legit and a lot less rip off, lot, lot less rip offs and taxi stuff kind of happening. So that's really nice. But again, if you're gonna be getting a taxi, just ask your hotel to call one for you or make sure you're using one of the apps and stuff like that so everything can be tracked so you'll be okay. I don't really think there's gonna be any, really many issues, but it's something you should have a heads up for. Now, another scam I see or another kind of thing you wanna look out for is if you're gonna be buying train tickets at a kiosk, okay? Or anytime there's a kiosk kind of thing like an automatic ticket machine, 
where you're like picking your language and picking your tickets and stuff like that. And in big cities like Rome or here in Paris, eventually someone will come to offer to help you. And they're not an official train Italia worker or SNCF worker. And they're just trying to help you out. The thing is, they might want some money for there. They might be, oh, I'll help you with your credit card or I'll put the money in for you and some money might miss disappear. Or it's the old, I'm talking to you while you're not paying attention to your bag and they grab your bag kind of stuff. So do have a heads up. And the thing is, most of these automatic ticket counters I've seen all throughout Europe will have at least four languages. So you have English, French, German, Spanish. And then if they're, you know, they might have Turkish on there, you have Portuguese, stuff like that. It's really helpful and you can do it on your own. So you feel uncomfortable to say, no, thank you. I'll figure it out because there's usually multiple kiosks. So the other people can go get another line. Okay. So I hope me talking about these scams and things to watch out for can help you enjoy your time here. I'll be honest, Europe is insanely safe. You will be fine when you are here, but I just want you to know, hey, just in case you've got a heads up to watch out for certain things, because honestly, probably nothing bad's gonna happen. So you don't need to worry too much. I just like to make sure everybody's fully prepared when they do travel so they can travel better. And so a pickpocket or a lost luggage or something like that doesn't ruin your vacation. And you can still enjoy beautiful cities like Paris even when not everything goes your way. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Have a great time traveling wherever you are. We have tons of other videos focused on specific cities and countries and scams there as well. Tell people out, like we have one just for here in Paris. We got one for Prague, other places. So have a good time watching those. And if you like travel videos like this, honest travel videos, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And we put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Bye from Paris.